Hello, my name is Jalen Avila, and in this five-minute Sono video, we are going to discuss how to identify an Achilles tendon rupture using your ultrasound. Your best probe for this is going to be the linear transducer, and you're going to be looking at the Achilles tendon. Now, the anatomy of the lower extremity is a bit on the complex side because there's a, a lot of stuff just packed into a relatively small area. But what we want to focus in on is this guy right here. This is the Achilles tendon, which is basically the combination of the gastrocnemius and the soleus muscle as they go in, create this tendon, and then attach to the calcaneus right here. And we're looking for ruptures here in this area. Now, when you are performing this examination, the foot, if you can actually hang it over the edge of the bed, is probably a bit better, and I'll tell you why. See, if you have the patient just prone with her feet still on the bed, the foot is gonna create this little curve here, and it's gonna be a little bit harder to get a nice view of that calcaneal tendon, because there's gonna be a little scoop in here where you're not gonna be able to see, whereas if you have the foot essentially dorsa flexed, then that's gonna be nice and straight and make it a lot easier for you to see. So here is what that looks like. So you can see here I'm dorsoflexing and we have our first structure right here. So we have our calcaneus here, we have our Achilles over here, and then right here, notice it's a little bit kind of dark, a little hypoechoic. This is actually due to anisotropy as the tendon comes in and kind of curves to attach to the calcaneus. So no actual pathology here, although sometimes there's a little bit of a burst that you can see and that might be what we're seeing right there. Now, as we move up, we can track that Achilles tendon. We have a, the pre-Achilles fat pad down here, and we can already see a deeper muscle, the flexor hallucis longus, and then the tibia deep to that. And we can track that up until we see it just turn into a couple of muscles here. We can see it start to split off about right here. And we see the gastroc and the soleus. Gastroc is the more superficial one. Then deep to that, the tibialis posterior and the flexor hallucis longus. And we can basically keep tracking that, keep tracking that. And notice here, we're actually starting to see a good division from the gastrocnemius and the soleus. Um, they have a different kind of appearance and a good, nice fascial plane as you move a little bit more proximally on the patient. I'm gonna take a brief pause here just to let you know that all of our content is on the coreultrasound.com website. That is Ultrasound Podcast, 5 Minutes Sono, Ultrasound of the Week, Clip Bank, and we also have our courses page where we have the Core Ultrasound Fundamentals and Core Ultrasound Question Bank where you have 3,200 questions with feedback, including narrated videos explaining the question. Check it out and back to your video. Now, this is a perfectly intact Achilles tendon right here. See, it's nice and straight. There's no big bulgings in it. There's no tears going through it. Let's compare this to what not that looks like. So see here, this is the Achilles tendon right here. It's a lot thicker, right? This is actually the same Achilles tendon as this structure over here. The other end is right here. And you can actually see a good tear right here. You see a nice linear tear right through that Achilles tendon right here. You can even see a bit of probably edge artifact coming off of this and maybe off of the other end over here. And here we have just a complete tear. So this is the more proximal aspect over here. That's from here to here, that's the tendon. And then here to here is the other end. This is the more distal portion. And you can see that that is not attached to this. And we even see a little bit of blood in between here. I'm doing some slight dorsoflexion to see that this and this are not connected. So to recap, to position that foot, you wanna have it in a little bit of dorsiflexion slash a neutral position, just so that surface where you're placing the transducer just proximal to the calcaneus is actually flat and you're able to make perfect contact with that transducer. And don't be afraid to do a dynamic examination. If you're not sure, just gently and just slowly dorsiflex and plantar flex that foot to see if there are two ends of that Achilles tendon that are not attached. Now, one thing I didn't mention is looking at it in the transverse orientation. You can definitely do that if you want, but the most important thing from my point of view is to identify it in the long axis. That's it for this five minute Sona video. Please feel free to check out our website at coreultrasound.com, reach out on Twitter, on the email. I hope to hear from you soon and happy scanning.